All right, everybody, how you doing tonight? <clears throat> Sorry, it's been a little bit since I did a new video. Um, I'm having trouble with my game crashing a lot, so I'm scared to do anything. But anyway, I, b I bought a new Volvo today, this one right here. Um, oh, I, was, I loved the other one, but I was just getting kind of a little tired of the flame paint job. So I did this one and I picked a color that was actually in there instead of customizing it. This, this color was in there. I think it's pretty cool. But I added a lot of stuff to it. It's my first three axle Volvo. And also with the upgrade, the update on the game, we got those new gas cistern trailers where you can haul propane, all kind of different uh, gases, you know. So I built a trailer for it for the last Volvo with the flames and the black so that's why it's black but anyway I wanted to do a run with the new truck and the new trailer we got this Duesenberg Frankfurt it's an LPG so we're going to run it let's see what happens Alright, let me show y'all first. This is the trailer I built. It'll haul propane, LPG, uh, what's it? I think it's called ammonious hydrogen, hydrous, or some shit like that. I don't know. But I put those little fire extinguishers on the back. Did the chrome wheels. I did the fender, black fenders. And here's the new truck. Got the three axle, painted fenders. It's got a 750 horsepower engine. Put this bull bar with the lights on it. I'm gonna show you the inside. Gotta have my sandwich. Got a six pack of what looks like could be Dr. Pepper, which is my favorite drink. Diet Dr. Pepper, anyway. Pretty good looking truck. I didn't add a bunch of other stuff. I like the interior on this one, so. All right, let's roll and pick this baby up. Gotta go one kilometer. The car's coming, so we'll get on out here. It's a good looking trailer, isn't it? crazy this truck's got a much bigger engine than the last one <clears throat> it's more it's more quiet I like that color though it's pretty cool what you call it seafoam green or something like that Oh, I screwed this one all up, didn't I? <laughs> oh, shit. There we go. Turn the engine off so we can get loaded. All right, let's rock and roll. Two hundred 
63 kilometers. Truck sounds like a beast, but way more quiet than the other one. Quiet power, baby.
shit, I remember when I was driving, I hauled a reefer, so I hauled all the frozen food and stuff. And I went to pick up some ice cream in Vegas one time. And it was so hot out there that my trailer wouldn't get cool enough. You, tr you set your trailer for minus 20 degrees, but it has to get to at least minus 10 before they'll load it. And it was so hot outside, my trailer wouldn't cool off enough. I sat out there on the side of the road for 26 hours before they would load me. They kept coming out there checking the temperature and everything, but I was like, come on, man. Just load this shit. Once I get rolling, it'll cool down. It's hot because I'm just sitting here on the side of the damn road. i tell y'all another cool thing about that when I was driving. I was out of Memphis, so a lot of times we'd pick up ice cream in Missouri and it'd go out west, right? Well, I picked up this load and he asked me to sign all this paperwork said I had to agree to a certain route I had to agree to the southern route which meant I had to go all the way down to the bottom of Texas and across to go to Vegas and Arizona or California or whatever so it turns out if you, if you took 40 all the way across this high altitude and it would they found on the quartz and the gallon and the pints of the ice cream buckets, the high altitude would blow the tops off the containers and the ice cream would just spill out all in your trailer. So you'd have to go way south. It'd take a lot longer and a lot more miles, but you had to go that way to keep the stuff from messing up. Isn't that crazy? It was the same way with the, like I said, I was a reefer driver, so the division that was just the dry bands, they had to do the same thing with the potato chips. If they went through that high altitude, the, the bags of potato chips would bust open and spill the chips all over the trailer. So there's a lot more to trucking than people think or know about. But that was funny though when they first found that out. Opened the back of that trailer and there was ice cream everywhere. <laughs> Kitty, I'm glad that shit wasn't me. Whew. This truck drives pretty smooth so far. I like it. Savage. Pretty cool interior. Looks a lot different than my Volvo, but like I said, I was I had the American version. Now, the American truck in the ATS Volvo, it looks exactly like the interior of the truck I drove. Or the two I drove two different start off with an old one of course and after a year I did so good with them they gave me a brand new truck but that was back in like 2013 14 15 so the Volvo trucks now are even way better looking a lot of people always make fun of the Volvo especially truck drivers and stuff but to me it's one of the best looking trucks on the road now I drove an international in training, but what I drove once I got out on my own was two Volvos, so I, shit, I love them. The international was cool. It had a lot more room inside, but you don't need that much room when it's just you, you know? I had a TV in mine. Nice, two nice beds. Shit, it was perfect for me. We got 18 cars. 
kilometers left. job with changing the colors of stripes and all that I just picked one that was already there I think it's a metallic version but do a video on the ATS but it just aggravates me how much worse it looks than this game. I mean I got the same computer, same graphics card, but the detail and clarity in the ATS is just so much off to me compared to this one. I mean the interior of this looks great. And the interior of my ATS trucks is just like blurred real bad. I know they spend more time on ETS because that's where the company's at, but I don't understand why if, if you have the same computer, why the graphics would be so much different. Because you, you can tell they put a lot of time and effort into ATS, but why isn't it, why doesn't it look the same as this one? And even when I take the in-game pictures from my Instagram, the, the pictures just look way worse. I don't, I don't know. It bugs me. You think they'd use the same whatever they have to use? You know? However they build these games. Ooh, I didn't even look to see if the car was coming. Glad there was Check it out, here it is. I'm not crazy about the back side of this truck. I wish you could put the exhaust pipes and all that. I don't know what all these little air tanks and all that shit is, but pretty cool though. All right, straight ahead. Turn this baby around. Uh, 
Alright, let's back it in. Push the right pedal, dumbass. go delivering this stuff now got 55 experience points for the ADR class 2 66 for skill rank for long distance and 55 for backing it in Pay thirteen three oh eight. That's a good looking truck, isn't it? All right, thank y'all so much for stopping by and checking my little channel out. I, you don't know how much I appreciate it, and I enjoy doing this for y'all. I hope you learn stuff. I hope you like what you see. Just please keep checking back, and I will catch y'all on the next video. Thank you.